Okay, so now we need to have some governing equations, and um, we want to have the flux and pressure. Those are the unknowns. Those are what we're going to want to determine. Um, and so we'll have two equations, um, and these two assumptions or these two these two things that we'll say are true. We're going to conserve mass and conserve momentum. Those will be the the, the two real starting points that will give us the governing equations. So the way that this is going to work is, you know, last time we did a, a general um, analysis, a general conservation approach for uh, just a, a kind of a um, hypothetical material. We didn't really pick either mass or momentum or anything in particular. We came up with, with this as the um, uh, as the, the expression of the principle of conservation where we have a, a region we've got a control volume we've got uh, some flux coming in and flux coming out uh, and then the difference in those is the divergence of the flux which is that term uh, we've got some change in storage and there's that term and then we've got the potential for some source within the material, within the region. Okay, so we did this last time and um, hopefully, hopefully everybody's okay with that and we can just start with, start there. That's, that's kind of the, the concept. Um, and then we'll start there and this term C, uh, well, each one of these terms here will, uh, will have a particular um, manifestation for uh, mass or momentum and, and and so on okay and so that'll be the the path forward that implementation that'll allow us to to, to to proceed with this okay so see how the strategy works all right so the first thing that we'll do is conservation of mass and The way I've arranged it, if you're looking, um, well, w th these, are the, these are the notes, um, and I, what I'm going to do is, is use this space over here on, the, on, on this side to, to draw this out and, uh, and, and describe it. We've got here on the left side um, some, some notes. These are, these are taken from the, um, the Word document notes that uh, it goes into some more detail than what I'll do here. It also uh, explains it um, in a, a kind of a separate resource. So to do this, we'll start with the, this is the divergence of the flux and the change in storage and the source. Okay, so for conservation of mass, uh, this term C, uh, will be, it's always going to be the mass per volume. And that's, for porous media, that's going to be the density um, times the porosity times the saturation. And we can check that by going and doing the units. So, this would be, um, the density is the mass per volume of the control volume, or the density is the mass per volume of the fluid. The porosity is the volume of the pores per total volume, and the saturation is the volume of the fluid per volume of pores. Okay? So we've got, we've got different volumes. We've got a total volume, we've got a volume of fluid, we've got a volume of pores, and then uh, the volume of the pores cancel, the volume of the fluid can or I'm sorry, the volume of the fluid cancels there, and so we're left with we're left with that, the, the mass per total volume. Okay, so that's what we want um, for C, the, the, the thing 
C is going to be the, the thing that we're conserving per unit volume. Okay, so we can, we can go right directly then. So, so what I want to do then is build up what each one of these terms. So we can go right directly to the storage. That's, uh, the storage is dc dt, and so that's going to be just d uh, rho v c dt, okay? So we could change storage by potentially changing any one of those, uh, those terms. Okay? All right, so um, we have now this guy here. This is, that's the flux. And in general, we're going to have uh, two types of flux. We're going to have advective flux and diffusive flux. So advective flux moves with flowing fluid. Adve uh, diffusive flux uh, is the movement of the thing that we're conserv conserving uh, in the absence of flowing fluid. So for the mass moving through porous media, the, and, and we're just really interested in the fluid itself, um, the advective term is going to be the flux times, well, the the way that we're going to do it is um, a flux times C divided by and and when we when we write when we substitute in C, C is this, so that's going to be. So those will cancel, and you get that. Okay? So this is now the mass flux by advection, and what we get is that the mass flux by advection is, uh, Q is the volumetric flux, so volume per area per time, and density is the density of the fluid. So A uh, is, the, is mass flux, mass per area per time, and it's going to be equal to the um, volumetric flux times the fluid density. Okay? Now, the source term, uh, this, is a, this would be the source of fluid mass within the control volume. So suppose that that could happen. I, I don't know, maybe we could, maybe we, if we had some way to inject some fluid, we could, we could consider that. Um, so we'll keep that in there. And what, I, what I'm doing here in the notes is I'm saying, well, S, S is uh, from up here is in the general uh, expression, and for this particular example, I'm going to call it M. So that's the source of fluid mass. Okay, so those, well, and then the diffusion term for the, uh, the diffusive flux, for this example, um, for, for mass conservation, we don't really have a diffusive flux term. The only way that we can have flux, the only way that we have mass going in uh, mass of this fluid that we're conserving um, is by advection. So the diffusive term here uh, is, in this case, is, is zero. So, so that guy will go. All right, so what we'll do then is, let me see. Mm. Let me try this. So, so to get our result, we take this and that's going to be the flux, so that goes in there. The storage term is that, and M is, is that, okay? So that's hopefully now pretty straightforward. Um, we just do the substitution, and we get this. 
So the divergence of density in Q plus, here's the storage. Okay, so there's the mass conservation equation. Um, and that'll be uh, a good start for, for the governing, uh, governing equation for this process. Okay, many questions there? Yeah. So that governing equation is only when you, in the case when you don't have any diffusive flux, right? That one that you're talking about in particular? We, don't, you, you, we won't have diffusive flux of mass of fluid. Now, there could be diffusive flux of other things. This is not, we're not considering like diffusion of, of dissolved mass in the fluid. This is just the fluid itself. So we're just interested in fluid flow. So we're, we're saying from the start, we don't have, it, it doesn't, it's not happening. Okay. <laughs>